what's up it is your boy will back with another video today now in this video i will be talking about ticker symbol z o m okay and i'll be giving you guys just some key levels you want to look out for and also my intentions on the stock and what i'm trying to do with it okay now i do want it to be a longer term hold i plan on holding this stock longer term so i don't plan on selling anytime soon so I'll give you guys those levels and I'll also give you a level that I will buy more. Okay. I do think the stock will go above $3. I don't know when, cause we don't know when the markets will move or not, but I do think it'll go above three. So I'll give you a level I'll buy more at and just some key levels you want to watch out for. So make sure you guys smash the like button for me, please. It'll take you one second. Thank you. And subscribe and also turn on post notifications. So you don't miss any updates. Okay. Now, these all these levels are old levels so i'll just take these off they all did their job even the support level okay now i'm gonna give you guys all new levels now first resistance level as it's coming down right as it goes back up you you want to watch this level as some resistance at 195 where are we at so at 195 where is it so right there 195 make that red this is a resistance level i see as price comes back up try not to get shares in this area because you could see some selling pressure okay so this is the first level you have on your chart at one dollar and 95 cents for a resistance okay now the level that i will buy more shares at is let's see if we can get it on here oh yeah barely got it is a dollar thirty four so once it comes below here this is where I will buy more shares at and average down okay um, I can't really remember what my average price is I think it's like 180 something like the 180 190 it's around that range so it's around here my average price okay but if it does come below 134 then I'll buy more shares to average down Okay, like I said, I'm holding this stock until it goes above $3. So I don't know how long that would take. That's why I don't put more than 1% in these type of plays, right? Because these are lower cap stocks. I like putting more money into like Tesla, Apple, Enphase, stocks like that, that have um, profitable revenue and consistent uptrends, okay? So like this, I probably want one uh, less than 1%, so I'll be able to hold it as long as I need to. But I'll be looking to get more shares here, right? This is just a shorter term resistance. And if it goes above this and start trading higher, that will be short term bullish. And hopefully we can see prices go above $3. But if not, if it comes back up there and sells off, that's fine. I'll just be holding the shares that I have. And my main focus is looking down here to get more shares or breaking through here to get some upside. Okay. So these are really the only two levels I'm looking at. It has been kind of stalled out, right? Hasn't been really doing too much. It did come up, but as fast as it went up, that's as fast as it came down. So this was really nothing to pay attention to. Just came back right, right back down to the range. Okay. So hope you guys like this video and make sure you guys join the discord chat link down below. Um, I have about 40 members left in the Patreon. You need that to have access. Okay. Have about 40 members. You need that to have access to the discord. You can also follow the Webull $100 or 10K account. If you don't have a Webull account, the link down is below as well. Hope you guys like the video. Not a recommendation to buy or sell anything. Just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in these videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.